Maddie's got his coffee. He's got his cook kit. You know what's up. After like seeing myself on screen, I'm kind of questioning why I decided to hold this fork to start this. But uh, welcome to Maddie Outdoors. I am Maddie. Uh, today we're gonna go over what I'm considering my ultralight cook system. Uh, I got this thing down to six and a half ounces, including my spork. I'm gonna go over everything that's in here. If that sounds cool to you and you're into any kind of hiking and backpacking, I hike a lot in the Canadian Rockies. If that sounds cool to you at all, just the subscribe button over here you should probably click on it. Anyways, we're gonna get into it. Today we're talking about my UL cook system. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go over my cook system today. This is down to six and a half ounces. We're just gonna break it apart. We're gonna go over everything inside of it. First thing we're gonna go over is my spork. Now, I fully admit I do not keep my spork in with my cook pot. I do store it separately inside my pack. Maybe it's a little bit weird to me, but that's just kind of the way I do it. Um, what I've got here is a Tokes titanium spork. It's 16 grams or 5 eighths of an ounce. Uh, it's the non long handle version. Um, and if you notice too on my spork, just kind of a word of advice for anybody who like maybe looking at getting a new spork or if you're getting into backpacking and you're looking at getting a utensil, just something to look into. If you notice here, the handle on my spork is kind of this like anodized and then the head of their like, I don't know, the spoon section here on the spork is kind of more chromish. Uh, the reasoning behind that is a lot of your dehydrated meals uh, will stick to the anodized coating um, and it's just the anodized is a little nicer to grip with your hands but the chromish part here your food doesn't tend to stick to it it makes cleanup a lot easier so just maybe something to look into if you're looking into a new spork and then diving into the pot system itself it's a completely nesting system so everything fits inside here so you've got my pot fuel can fits in there my stove fits in there a lighter fits inside there and I've also got a little bit of a kind of a cut up piece of a like a handkerchief towel just for kind of like to help with a little bit of cleanup and it works as a pot grabber so yeah let's we'll rip this thing apart show you what's inside first thing we're gonna get into and we're just gonna get it out of the way the stuff sack uh, the stuff sack for this kit is 14 grams or cost me half an ounce of weight uh, I do like the stuff sack because as you'll see on the bottom of my pot is very black. Uh, I do use my pot on open fires quite a bit. Um, if I can have an open fire, I avoid using my stove. I just, I like cooking on open fire. It's just, yeah, I just throw my pot over and boil water. But uh, yeah, I, I use the stuff sack mostly just to keep the inside of my pack clean. But like I said, it cost me about half an ounce. It's kind of this like kind of the soft meshy, very similar to the Tokes uh, stuff sack. So yeah, if you've got a Tokes, very similar to that. Uh, yeah, that's the stuff sack for my cook kit. So getting into the pot itself, uh, the lid has this little tab here that kind of flips up. I don't know how you can see it, but uh, yeah, the tab flips up, just lets you lift the lid off or whatever. The lid of the pot is 27 grams or weighs an ounce. And then getting inside as it nests together, like I said, I keep a piece of handkerchief. Uh, what I use this for is like, like I said, as a pot gripper, but what it also does is I wrap my stove inside and my little Bic Mini lighter, which I carry inside. Uh, the Bic Mini is 3 8 of an ounce or 11 grams. Uh, yeah, super handy to keep. I mean, I probably have about four of these stuffed in my pack somewhere. Yeah, love the Bic Minis. Then uh, my stove inside is my BRS 3000. I do have a video on this. I will pop it up top for you guys. And I'll also put the link in the description down below for the video of that if you want to check that out. Uh, 26 grams or an ounce for my stove. This thing is super tiny. Boils water super quick. I absolutely love this thing. It is awesome. And here is the little sliced up piece of handkerchief that I carry. Five grams or a quarter of an ounce. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's to, on the side of my pot here, the handles are just straight titanium. So what that allows me to do is allows me to use that as a pot gripper so I'm not burning my hands. Uh, but also on the inside, when I put it inside on top of the fuel can that also nests inside there, which is super handy. Um, I wrap my lighter and my stove inside there so it stops everything from kind of rattling around. Uh, like yeah, anybody who's done any kind of backpacking knows like when you've got 
that going on inside your pack, the most annoying thing in the world. I know for sure I am not the only person out there who's had to stop and pull my pack off because I got something rattling around in the back there. So yeah, that's why I keep the little towel in there. It's five grams or a quarter of an ounce, so it's really not much, not that much weight. Totally worth it to me. This pot here, the Lixada 650 mil titanium pot, uh, 84 grams or three ounces. It's got uh, markings on the side here, and you can see them from the inside as well. Like they're they're raised, it's kind of like uh, punched in, so you can feel it on the inside here. So you've got measurement lines for pouring your water, or whatever. So it's got my. 500 mils, which is the most common one I use, two cups of water for my boiling bag meals. That's how I do my cooking. So yeah, that's uh, that's my cook pot, and it perfectly nests one of the little 211 gram isopro fuel cans. So yeah, that's what I go with for my cook system. It's pretty small, pretty minimalistic. That's what I do though. All right, so now you guys know what I carry for a cook system. I'm kind of interested what you guys carry. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, just kind of give me a list of what you guys carry for a cook pot stove that kind of stuff uh i don't know i'm i'm kind of a gear dork i i love that stuff i yeah i i geek out over gear so yeah let me know what you guys use down below yeah i'm gonna pop my big subscribe button is gonna pop up over here click on it trip videos as always canadian rockies come on beautiful places check those out i am maddie thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next one